I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. Oh, right, Deus Ex Machina. I forgot about this the part. The time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. I didn't. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright? Are you giving up? Yes, Your Honor. Phoenix. Yeah, but. Phoenix, over here! Uh, I know that voice. <laughs> Mia? What the fuck? Never give up, Phoenix. Hello, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Uh, I'm Fatal Foxtrot. Hi, I'm Owo. And where we last left off, we've been accused of murder. Le gasp. Le gasp. Uh, yeah. Weird that they wasted the now you're the defendant trope at, in the second case, but uh, if that's how, <laughs> if they're going to pull that crazy shit this early in the game, I can't it's imagine what other, shit. yeah, it's probably mm. way crazier shit that goes down in this game. So anyway, here we go. It is now September 8th, 3.37 p.m. This is the detention center visitor's room. Now I'm in jail, right? Is that what's happening? I can't believe I'm in fucking jail. Uh, I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. Well, White's gonna set a trap for me, and the prosecution will be in on it, of course, Edgeworth included. An attorney was signed to me by the state yesterday, but I refused. I had an idea. What, we're gonna make Maya do it? With a f <laughs> how? Right! Mr. Wright! Why is the guard on that side? <laughs> Oh, Maya. Great, they let you out of detention. Just now, yes, and it's all thanks to you! Ha, yeah, but now I'm afraid we switched places. What? You mean you... <gasps> I explained what happened to Maya. I don't believe it! Yeah, why wasn't she in the courtroom for this? Yeah, exactly. Shouldn't a defendant be able to watch the court, like, going the at it about them? Yeah. Like, I mean, I, sh I, could, I could understand if you had the option to not be there, like, if you, because, like, you panic or something, like, and they'd say, okay, well, you can sit out, but, anyway. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother. My sister. And now you! This has gone too far! Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... Yeah, just chew me on in court. Help me break out of here. <laughs> Give no. me that file of the soap. <laughs> Uh, what would I be comfortable putting? I uh, let me remind me you, I think she just turned 18, so, like, I don't want to make her a fucking felon yet, because now she's old <laughs> enough to be charged with actual felonies. Right. I would say just true, because <laughs> she's not going to know how to defend yeah. you. Yeah. No. I don't think so. But anyway. Well, you could cheer for me in court. Cheer for you? You mean, like, a cheerleader? Uh, yeah, but, like, quietly. All right! <laughs> leave it to me! Huh? Uh, I better go get a uniform and some pom-poms and... Uh, 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 Maya? Maya? Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? I'm kidding. It, it was a joke. No way? No, really. I, I, I do jokes sometimes, too, I, I swear. But, uh, thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. And there really isn't anything you could do for me anyway. But, but I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to go give that man a piece of my mind. Please don't. Okay. Then come to the trial tomorrow. Uh, okay. I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Phoenix's, like, voice that we decided for him it was too calm for the situation he's in. He should have been more like it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, times may change, yet with crime, it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. 
Oh, that explains it. Almost all finished in a day. Most with a guilty verdict. Uh, so this is some crazy fucking fascist future. Mm. Like, by the way, just they hint yeah, at it. Like Outside it. of the courtroom is probably like this terrifying lockdown of martial law and shit. Oh my god. But anyway, I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself for this, or in the defendant's chair myself for this case. With the true culprit appearing as the star witness. This is it. Tomorrow it's me or him. Alright. Oh yeah, so like, it's gonna be continued right now, obviously, because we're still at the beginning of the episode. I didn't know when it would break. We should have probably waited until that part to end the episode, <laughs> being okay. honest, but that's fine. Let's save our game and continue. You can never save enough, y'all. So this is day three, and he just said there's only three days, so... So trial day. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, I have to... Uh, I've, uh, <laughs> yeah, I got you. Okay. September 9th, 9.52 a.m., District Court Defendant Lobby Number 1. Dun dun! <laughs> well, I guess this is it. Yep. In one way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah! The Phoenix look! Prosecutor Edgeworth? I received a call from the chief prosecutor's office yesterday. <laughs> what the fuck? I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. Uh, that's a little threatening. No matter how you try to attack his testimony. If I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What? Does White have the judge in his pocket too? So you're saying I'm gonna be guilty. End of story. I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Mr. Potter. <laughs> yep, I love it. I fucking love your Edward. Thank you. What? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. All I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. Wow, so Edward's a fascist. So I make that my policy. Oh my god, I didn't yeah. realize that the first time I played this game. So, so Edgeworth is a fascist, so, you guys. So edgy, you a fascist. Oh my god. Anyway, Ed Edgeworth, you've changed. Huh? Phoenix? You know him? Yeah, I know this nerd. <laughs> Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix Wright. Phoenix? Well, court will be starting soon. What? But wait! Y your defense attorney isn't even here yet. They're not! Yeah, it's gonna be me. What? Yeah, I'm a fucking defense attorney, and you're allowed to do that. Does nobody pay attention? Like, I grew up in the mountains, man. I don't know shit. Why is that what surprised you, though? Like, after all the crazy shit that's gone down. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> I'm a defense attorney. I can defend myself, technically. I shouldn't, usually, but I can. All I can think of is when Dale Gribble is his own defense attorney. <laughs> <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Uh, yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Understood. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. As the details of the events are already quite clear to the court, 
Today we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ad ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? It's like, it's like he already knows why. Huh. If anyone's gonna raise an objection about this, I suppose it's me. I need to let it go here, cause yeah, they're gonna yell at me. Forget it. I smell a trap. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. Here we go. Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage? Uh, your name? Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my locutions confuse? Name! <laughs> name! <laughs> These two are great together. My name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino, <laughs> the white boy. <laughs> <laughs> I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corps. Did you know the victim, Miss Maya Fair, or Mia, excuse me? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder? Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there? Ahem. Why tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. White. <coughs> You may begin your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? <laughs> I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. The fuck? Let him have it, Phoenix! Why are you here? Because you told her to cheer you on in court. Oh, that's true, I did. Okay, okay. Okay, where does it go? Let's see. It was about nine o'clock, I believe. It was quietly er, I was quietly perusifying er, that's reading to you some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then that I saw him, a spiky haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She, too, was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she... She ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then, it was all over. Alright, so there's like multiple fucking holes. Mm -hmm. In that testimony, mm. like he's almost like he didn't even read the record from the yeah. first day. No. Like we, there's a bunch of shit there that we've already mm. proved wrong. Like so, first of all, she was only hit once. <laughs> if things occurred as you testify, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant. Or uh, I mean, uh, Mr. Wright, your cross examination. Uh, yes, your honor. Let's see, it was about 9 o'clock, I believe. Nah, I don't need to. Mm. I was quietly crucifying, uh, that's reading to you, some papers by the window. Mm, he wasn't in the room. The bellboy statement. Yeah. He says that. Wait, look at... Hold on, I wanna... By window, you mean the one directly across from Faye and Company's law offices? Correct! That is the only window, you see. And there you were, just reading papers? Correct. The Gatewater is a businessman's hotel, and I am a busy man who had business to do. Hold on. Can we look at the court record? Yeah, I wanna... Um... May testimony... 
I don't think we have the bellboy's testimony as an item right yeah. now, so. Okay. We have the victim dodged an attack, then ran to the right, but she was caught and struck. Okay, so we need to ask him about the direction of yeah. when she started running. Okay. There I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then that I saw him, a spiky-haired man, attacking a woman with long hair. Now, needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. I'm gonna... What you just said directly conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly stated that the assailant looked like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. And just what is your eyesight? <laughs> Counting both eyes, 40. That's not... But 40? You don't add them together. I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is very good. Hey, whose side is the judge on, anyway? And what did you do then? I called Miss May over at once. She, too, was surprised, of course. What was Miss May doing at that time? She had just finished watching a soap opera on the TV and was weeping openly. Did you know that she had just been tapping the Fay office phone? Irrelevance? That has nothing to do with the case at hand. I care not. I will answer the lawyer's bold inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she tapped the phone of this fey woman. You'd make a good politician, Mr. White. Ha <laughs> ha, I know. After all, I am El Presidente. Please continue. The victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. That's the one we need. I know, but I need to listen. Can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, comprende, I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? As you know, I am always absolutely perfect. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. The victim ran to the left and you gave chase. Yep. Here we go. Alright, wait right there. So, Mr. White, you've dug your you've dug your own grave. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left, but that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. <laughs> it is simple. She's wrong. I think not. <laughs> Look at the floor plans. The killer was here. And the victim here. If the victim ran to the left as she claimed she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. And don't you find that odd? Very strange. I did see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe he really did see the victim run to the left. So he did witness the killing. Wait a second. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Miss May says right, and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the They're court? They're both right. I, I know why, too. I don't want to spoil it, but listen. Both witnesses are telling the truth, for once. Ha. I doubt it. Uh, rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I doubt it. I mean, what? <laughs> there is one scenario that would explain their conflicting accounts. What? I said there is one scenario <laughs> Like raises his voice his head loud. <laughs> Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Mr. Mr. Oh. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean he's not viewing the crime from the hotel? If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? 
in the law offices of Fay and Company, of course. And more specifically, he was standing here. <laughs> this is where he was. Look! When the victim ran for the door, if he was watching from this point to him, it would appear she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. Exactly, dipshit. That's what I've been trying to say this whole time. Order, I will have order. Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? R Rep Stallion! The postulations of the defense are a distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. <laughs> you provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing? The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I've been unclear. For this, I must apologize. Mr. Your Honor, might I be allowed to testify once more? Very well, let's hear your revised testimony. Good luck. You can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. She ran to the left. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left, and then you hit her, savagely. That is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran- <laughs> Come on, man, we already knew- No, that she only got hit once. You chased her and delivered the final blow. Rip. That is what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? It's gaslighting. Yeah, right, whatever. Hmm, that does seem to that does seem to make sense. Will you be cross-examining the witness's testimony? You bet I will. I mean, obviously, Your Honor. Alright, I already know what to do. I'm gonna skip to the part. Uh, when he sold to the girl, she hit her. With the last year's strength, she ran to the right, delivered the final blow. So, Smith, you hit her twice. Autopsy report! Alright, Mr. White, look, the victim died from a single blow. And what do you have to say to that? Duh. <laughs> Now's my chance to hit him where it counts. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this court that you were absolutely perfect? <sighs> well, I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a ten minute break. Absolutely not. Yes, yes, quite. No. The witness is confused because he's lying. I emphatically request that there be no break, Your Honor. Yeah, yeah we want justice. Watermelon, watermelon. Get away. Watermelon, watermelon. Very well. If the witness would care to revise his testimony again. The crowd's on my side. There's no slipping out of this now, White. Mr. White? Uh, okay. Uh, well, you see, I, I, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. Then the next moment, I saw Miss Mia run to the left. What thing is he talking about? Yeah. The killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. Uh, and then she turned and ran for the door. Then you did her in with a single blow. Thwap. Indeed. Wait, he said there was only one window. Hmm, swap indeed. Mm -hmm. Very well, you may begin your cross-examination. I just want to go home. Mr. Your Honor, 
My stomach, you see, it is hurting. Deal with it. This is almost over. Sorry, I want to listen to the better version of the song a little bit. See, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. You heard that thing fall? What exactly was that thing? Ah, oh, oh, that. Uh, the gaslight stand. <laughs> right, the one that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix! Doesn't something about that strike you as odd? Yeah. How did you know it was a glass light stand? Yeah, that is odd. I'm gonna press this further. Mr. White? Ah, uh, what? what? You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Y yes Then change your testimony to reflect that! S sorry my bad. The witness will revise his testimony. Okay, okay, of course. A light stand was laying on the floor when I looked. I know what to do. It's because these broken beyond all recognition. Yep. Mr. White? It was impossible for you to have seen the light stand. What? The stand broke into pieces when it fell. Oof! Just by seeing the broken pieces, you would have no idea it was a light stand. So tell me, exactly when was it that you saw the stand? Answer the question. Ah, uh, uh, isn't it obvious? I saw the stand before it fell over. So, you saw the stand before the victim was attacked then? We need to look at those floor plans. C correct. That would be no problemo, right? Hmm. Big problemo. How would he have seen it if he's never been in the office? There's a big problemo, uh, problem here. And what problem is this? Mr. White, let me make sure I have this straight first. You said you saw the glass light stand through the window from the hotel before the incident occurred. Correct, that is so. It's conclusive, definitive, undeniable, unimpeachable. No, it's impossible. You couldn't have seen the stand. What? Why couldn't he? Do you have proof? I sure do, Your Honor. A person in the hotel could not have seen the stand before it fell over. Yep, because it was right there. Look at this. These are the floor plans to the scene of the murder, yes? Correct, Your Honor. Now, s stick with me here. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you'd be able to see. This white cone here, see? Well, note that the light stand is not in the, s the cone. Remember the cone? The, 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 the importance, that's the icon, remember? Okay, it's not there. Did you get it yet? Right? <laughs> what do you have to say to that, Mr. White? Uh, 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 r ridiculous today. Mr. White, if you were in the Gatewater Hotel, as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light stand. So, when did you see the stand, Mr. White? Was it when you were murdering my lawyer mommy? And the only place you could have seen it from is to decide to pay law offices. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Mr. White? 
Mr. White. Mr. White? You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor, I, I, Miss Mia. <laughs> Looks like we're about to get our verdict. Crap, damn, I forgot about it. That's far enough, Phoenix, right? What? what? Ah, I forgot about Edgeworth. Mr. White, I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now, hmm? What? what? <laughs> I said you should confess your crime. Ergo, confess that you placed the wiretap. The, the wiretap? That's not relevant to this case. You just said earlier that it wasn't relative, so... Order, order! Oh, wait, but if he brings that thing back into evidence, that means I can use it to... in this case. Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court, Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Miss Fair. What does that have to do? Your Honor, I'm getting to that. <laughs> the question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office and by who? No, he wouldn't! Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Faye's office. Am I correct? Uh, uh, y yes, C correct. You are most correct, Mr. White. Oh, yes, yes. Ah, oh, give me a fucking break. Uh, yes, uh, yes. In order to place the wiretap, I breached the Faye and Company law offices. That is when I saw the accursed light stand. Can I please go home now? Now I'm confused. Please explain to the court what this means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand at the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. I see. However, it is in fact that Mr. White had been to that office well before the murder took place, when he went to place the wiretap. He could have seen the glass light stand then. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is revealed for the baseless conjecture it is. Uh, okay, so how do we... Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wiretapping. Ahem, leave it to me. I feel faint. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Fair Company law offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. That's it? Okay. Hmm. Alright. So, you saw the stand before the night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over by sound? Correct, that is right. I see, very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine. We're gonna go a little bit longer in this episode because we're right at the end oh, okay. of the case. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this up. Um, Sounds okay. good. Finish. Yeah, what am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix! Alright, first things first, press everything because we gotta get more details. It was the beginning of September Wait, check your, before the murder. Check your stuff before you press, because I know that they're going to start punishing you with him, it seems. By the way, Edgeworth, like, uh, talked to you at the beginning? Yeah, I get you. But 
I need to know. Do, do you have proof? Oh, that's me. Whoops. Miss April May knew the details of Miss May's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Yeah, right. I had entered the fan company law offices. Was it really you that went into the office? Or was it Miss May? Unidentified fingerprints several days old were found in the Fanco law offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. And if I know Edgeworth, he's already run a check on these prints. Where is that what? in our evidence, though? He's not. And now, Mr. White, tell us why you went it's to It's like I'm the only person that has to play by the rules in this fucking game. Yeah, that's what <laughs> But anyway... Of course, I had done so to place the wire tap. Why did you tap me as phone? This has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. Blue Corps is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. This is what I saw this glass light stand. Why'd you notice some, something so innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess I made a lasting impression on me. Such a beautious thing deserves attention, does it not? And that is all. Damn it! There's nothing there for me to press him on. Ah, oh, well, maybe he's rattled enough that I can bluff something out of him. It's the beginning of September, the week before the murder. Check the record, please. What's up? Let's make sure there was a beginning of September. Like, when was the phone call? The phone call, yeah, beginning of September. Yeah, so if it was a week before, it couldn't have been the beginning of September. It would have been August. Yeah, okay. But that's probably not it's right. Beginning of September, the week before the murder. No, that... It would have been, right? Because uh, the, four, the September 4th would have been the week before the murder. She was murdered on... Today's the 9th? She was murdered on the 5th, because the day she got the phone call is the day she was murked. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. Hold on. Kinda like... Do you have proof? Okay, hold on. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's nothing. I entered the Fanco Law Offices. Yeah, do you press this? I pressed all of them. Yeah. I don't know what to... It, I uh oh. Don't tell me I've run out of ammo. Tusk, tusk. I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. Oh, right. Deus Ex Machina. I forgot about this the part. The time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. I didn't. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright? Are you giving up? Y yes, Your Honor. Phoenix. Yeah, what? Phoenix, over here! Uh, I know that voice. <laughs> Mia? What the fuck? Never give up, Phoenix. What? It, that, you're, you're dead! What the? And I just passed out, didn't I? <laughs> Where, where am I? The waiting lobby? What happened? Oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Ah, oh, you're finally awake. Ah! <laughs> Pass out again. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> hey, Phoenix. Jack. Jack. That's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Yeah, why did your titties get bigger? I don't. And a mole. And a mole, and her lips get fuller, what and she got taller. Okay, you're. Maya? 
didn't you know the Fae women have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appeared that was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So, Maya is channeling you right now. That's right. I'm Maya, but I'm also Mia. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. But... But... We don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You've already won. What? You have that receipt in the court record, right? D yeah, the one you wrote Maya on? Phoenix, Wright wrote, wrote that, not me. So... Sorry. So, wh what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? It's just a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. One thousand dollars. Wow, big spender item. Glass light stand. Date of purchase, September 4th. Oh shit. September 4th, he couldn't have seen it. That's right, Phoenix. I bought that light stand the day before I was killed. Whoa! Now, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. He's... He said he saw the stand the week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. Right. The receipt was updated in the court record. See, like, I'm pretty sure I should have just turned over the receipt to find the answer to that at some point in right. just Why regular exploration. Like, let me do that. Yeah. I, I, you could have even had a cutscene about it even a, a, after, you know. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is the defendant rather... Are you alright, Mr. Wright? Uh, yeah, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then let's get started where we left off. Your Honor, there's nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Hmm... Your Honor, please, give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say... Let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. And I already know what it is because it was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. Objection! Here we go. Look closely at this. I see the word Maya written in blood. <laughs> You're grasping. Let me finish, you smarmy asshole. Look at the other side of the receipt. The, the other side? Your Honor, would you tell the court what is written on the other side of that receipt? Mm, well, a glass light stand and the date of purchase. Why, that's the day before the murder. Oh, oh fuck. You see, Mr. White, when you allegedly entered the Fane Company law offices at the beginning of September, the stand could not have been there. Well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? N no, it's impossible. Uh oh, he's losing it. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree when you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Oh! Oh, very well, very well! 
Then that is all for the trial of. Objection! What now? Not so fast, Phoenix Wright. Great. Now what? No way he can worm his way out of this one. Oh wait, I forgot. It's Edward. There is a certain thread of logic to the defendant to the defendant's complaints or claims. However, there is no concrete proof that need... Phoenix Wright is innocent. We don't need that. Ergo, I would like to request one more day before Phoenix no. Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Mm. Another inquiry? This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There's no need to prolong his trial any further. Hmm. Well, Miss Edgeworth? If anyone is going to call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascern whether these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. Hmm. I see. Objection denied! What the fuck? The completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright oh. will be postponed until tomorrow. I guess there is, uh, a little bit more. I don't remember that. No, there's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. Edwards is sure to come up with or just make up something. And after Mia showed up to help me and all. Hey, Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course. Thank you for your time. Ah. The witness will stay. N Mia? Phoenix. Read this note out loud. What? Mia, what's this? Oh, it's that list. Your Honor, if I may. You're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. Yeah, yeah, you're trying to put me away from murder. Of course I'm persistent. I... Oh, go ahead. I have something I would like to read to the court. Take that! I don't know what this is. The memo Mia had given me was just a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities... That's what happened. Stop! Stop! This this is halt! Halt! But please stop! Make him stop! How, how did you get that list, Mr. White? Admit your guilt right here, right now, or else this list will be released to the press. That's blackmail, and you I can't mean everything do that. else is illegal going on. In this yeah, <laughs> you can't do that. She's a ghost. She gives no fucks anymore. Anyway. Mm. I, I confess. I, I confess. I, I did it. I, I hit her. I, I hit Miss Mia with the thinker. Case closed, Your Honor. <laughs> She's like, eh. well, I see no reason to continue this trial, M Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. You've done it again! No, I didn't. That was quite a spirited defense! Spirited? Ah, uh, haha, -ha, yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirited it was. Mmm, well, this court finds the defense, ahem, <clears throat> rather, the defendant, Mr. Wright, not guilty. Yeah, get ready again! Woo! Okay, I didn't. I thought. I, confetti spaghetti. I thought I forgot about this last day of the trial or something. That is all. The court is adjourned. Okay. September 9th, 224 p.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number One. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. But congratulations. You're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me and Maya. Don't forget it as long as I... I oh, I won't forget.
get it as long as I live. Yeah, as long as you live? My time here is running out. What? Maya's powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. What? No, there's still so much to say. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. C Christ, <laughs> Chief! <laughs> I'm not Chief anymore. Phoenix, can you come to the office tonight, say, 9 o'clock? The office? I'll see you later. Chief, Mia! Kind of foreboding she asking for the same time she got killed at. Yeah, I know, right? September 9th, 9.02 p.m., Faye and Company Law Offices. Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. This you, Maya. You came! Mia? I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then! I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? Mia? Wah! <laughs> you should have seen your face. Mia. Nope, just Maya. What are you talking about? It's me, Maya. M Maya. Wait. What? Did I look like my sister? Look like you were your sister. Hmm. I might not be able to use that. I might be able to use that. Oh. I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> Is that Maya doing an Amriya impersonation? Yes. That's really good. Uh, Maya, why are you here? Because of this! See? Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of... Wait, take care of me? She means the office. This office. Someone has to help with the new Wright & Co. law office, right? And who better than me? My Faye, reporting for duty. Wait, no, on second thought, let's take this casual. Yo, Nick, Maya here, ready to get down to business. You, you don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name. Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick? You know what that means? We're partners! You don't have a law degree. <laughs> You know, when I think about it, it is Maya's fault I'm here now, but if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Right and, co right and Company Law Offices, it's got a nice ring to it. Yeah. Alright, thanks, Maya. Aww. Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here, watching. Yeah, thanks, Ghost Mom. Right! Okay, Nick, let's do it! Huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy! Burgers! There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on! Time's a wasting! <laughs> okay, wait up! The end. That's. Aww. Yeah. That's cute. Oh man. She probably meant business partners, not like she's yeah, like, now that a is legal she, partner. That is what she, what she meant, I know. But it's like, <laughs> I'm not putting you in the name. It's not right in my uh, lawyers. <laughs> Alright. Okay, that was great. Let's go ahead and save. That was fun. Yeah, we're like way over time for this episode, so. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, I guess we'll decide whether we keep playing this game. But we'll probably come back to it. We're going to go ahead and take a break from this and yeah. get back to other things. So, um, and with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, Share with your friends. Yeah, share with your friends. I appreciate that a lot. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye, y'all. Bye.